New on the floor, we are working to get more information about a deadly Sunday morning shooting in Sylacauga. Police say it happened around 2 a.m. in the Drew Court housing complex. Now we've learned 23 year old Daryl Maple of Talladega was shot. He was taken to the hospital where he later died. So far, no arrests in this case. Yeah, well, this marks a dramatic increase in homicides in the year for Sylacauga. Now keep in mind, Sylacauga only had two murders on average, now it's up to eight this year, and they're asking you for your help to solve these cases. Our East Alabama reporter Reggie Kyle is live and on your side after talking with the police chief there. Morgan Sarah Police Chief Kelly Johnson tells me the city of Sylacauga doesn't have a gun problem, but instead they have a people problem, which makes stopping violent crimes even harder. Now, along with many other cities, the city of Sylacauga has seen an increase in murders with a with happening this past Sunday, excuse me, this past Sunday, averaging around two murders per year, which you previously stated. The city is now up to eight, which is alarming for the small community. With an even number of crimes being committed on the east side of town, Chief Johnson wants the community to get involved with information to help his department bring justice to the families for the loved ones that was murdered. I don't know that there's any way to keep murders from happening. Somebody's, if somebody's got it in their mind, they're gonna kill somebody. It's, it's probably going to happen, or at least the attempt's going to happen. We want we want to get the help from the community. If they know something, if they've heard something, let us know and, and let us run it down to see how far we can go with it. Now, Chief John says, if you have any information regarding these murders, please contact Central Alabama Crime Stoppers or contact the Sylacauga Police Department if you want to remain anonymous. I will put all that information in my story on our WBRC News app. Reggie Kyle, WBRC Fox 6 News, on your side. Alabama's